what's up guys got some q a for the dev team with you this was from the 11th of july the, the original tweet they put out i haven't had time to do it so i'm a little bit behind but um yeah i thought it'd be cool to put this out if anyone ends in it might you know good topic of conversation um gotta be honest they've obviously cherry picked these questions hopefully they'll do more of these and hopefully we'll get some um deeper answers and better questions coming through and um, what I'll do is we'll read the article that this post links to and then we'll come back and look through the questions in the comment section because some of them are quite cool. But this was the original tweet. Tis ask a pirate day mateys, Pathfinder, send us your questions to the developers and we'll try to respond to a few by next Thursday. Here are some of the questions that popped up during the last two weeks and we can go to the article which we'll do. Yeah, like I said, these are kind of cherry picked. Um, this post makes it sound like they was going to do another one with a more um, a bigger Q and A session. I haven't seen it come up yet um, on Twitter. I haven't seen it pop up anywhere else. So I'm guessing we're still waiting for it. Hopefully they will do it because they've said they're going to. And um, I like the idea of this. I think it's good that they're finally like being or they're try they're actually doing some sort of communication now, which is good. I think that was a sentence. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's nice to see him communicating with us. Um, but yeah, let's go to the the uh, post. Okay. Ahoy, Pathfinders. We appreciate all the feedback we've received, whether written by hardened sea dogs or those still getting their feet wet. We're monitoring the waves in the forums, Discord, Steam, Reddit, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. Even when we hit rocky shores, you are manning the sails. We're excited to answer some questions that have popped up during our new journey in atlas season four the maelstrom and we hope you're looking forward to all the new content that will be released in the coming months like trade winds farms warehouses and more below are some questions and answers regarding the future development of atlas straight from the seahorse's mouth so um yeah again mention the trade winds farms warehouses still not in the farmhouse yet should be on its way this week we were told um as i make this it is wednesday the 22nd so maybe by the end of the week which will suck for me because i go back to work but um yeah it, it we haven't seen it yet but i really want to see the warehouses and i'm really curious to see what trade wins is also but back to the matter in hand the q a so the first question was i guess my main question would be about new pvp official servers when you claim an island is it safe for you or is it possible to be raided i don't mind pvp at sea but base raids suck just curious thanks the developers went on to say atlas is intended to be a game about pirates and while our land-based combat is deep and rich the new energy behind atlas is to bring the depth and richness to sea as well more interesting interactions with the oceans and ships is where we are appointed and we'll be making a host of changes to drive more player energy in that direction look for our future development to lean towards creating opportunities for greater rewards and higher risks on the water with more opportunities for opt-in conflict so yeah, the last bit that really interests me, opt-in conflict, I, I'm not sure what they mean by that. It sounds to me like there's going to be an option where you're either in war or not. Obviously at the moment there is peacetime and stuff, but that makes it sound more like you're going to be able to go to war and when you're not in war, it'll be peacetime and you'll be able to stay in a permanent state of peace, which wouldn't make sense in PvP, so I don't think it'll be that. But yeah, I don't really know what they mean by that, opt-in conflict, so um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think to that. Obviously, there's a lot of work news doing to the game and PvP. Um, well, the game in general, really. But, yeah, PvP, obviously, is the main focus right now. And, um, yeah, they definitely need to make it... Um, they need to make it, like, friendlier for people that don't have as much time to play the game that want to play it. Because at the moment, um, I, think, I feel like you need to either have a group of people that you can literally have shifts to play... Um, or you need to be able to be on like 12 hours a day, which for a lot of people isn't possible. Um, obviously you can get in big tribes and stuff like that, or big companies, sorry. Um, but it's not straightforward. I'm not saying they should dumb it down, they shouldn't make it easy, because then that makes it just too easy, obviously. But yeah, they, they need to get the balance right with that for sure. Um, and there's a, there's a lot of stuff they need to do, aren't there? I mean, they just... There's so much work they got to do. But, um, yeah, like I said, I'd be interested to see what you guys think that opt-in conflict and what you think to that. So the next question was, so I believe that this is the first time that you've acknowledged seasons. Are you guys considering regular wipes to Atlas PvP? In many hardcore PvPers' opinions, 
There should be in order to keep the game fresh. It seems to drop off about three to four months in, maybe a server to test out having regular wipes. They responded, we agree that it's important for the health of a survival game to have energetic competition over resources, but we want to have our cake and eat it too. So we are looking for ways to keep these struggles fresh without completely tossing out players' progress. We think that coming at it from both sides and wiping when necessary while at the same time helping players hold on to their progress will lead to a vibrant environment of continuous conflict without stagnation. Stagnation. Um, stagnation. So, yeah. I think three or four months might be a bit soon. I think six months would be kind of cool. But even if they just wiped, uh, you know, the start of each year or something, you know, after get through Christmas, have some fun at Christmas to end off the season, January, like sometime in January, reset the... Um, like wipe the servers um, and I think that should be for PV as well not P just PvP I know people are going to hate that oh, I've spent hours and thousands of hours building my base and my breeding my bears or whatever yeah that's cool but how long are you going to be satisfied with that for like you're going to get bored um, I think it'd be cool if they kept wiping every so often like 6 months 12 months something like that I don't think less than 6 months though um, it will definitely freshen up the game and keep it fresh. If they done it like every twelve months, maybe they could work towards doing like new content every twelve months, adding something different in every twelve months, maybe a theme or something. I don't know, like you know, really get some fresh stuff coming into the game every so many months. I think that'd be kind of cool. Or maybe do it every six months, but at the start of each year when that wipe came around, then release some new content. Or some sort of, um, you know, some some sort of theme, like I said, like anything, like just to add to the freshness of the game and keep it strong and healthy. And um, again, with all these questions, I'd love to know what you guys think of that. Um, to the to having regular wipes and what your opinions on it are. Like I said, I think that shouldn't just be for PvP. I think that should go for PV as well. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty good one. Uh, next one was, will Atlas be available on PS4? I get asked this all the time. Um, and uh, I try to answer it as much as I can, obviously. The devs answer it here anyway, or they kind of do. Um, but yeah. So they responded, for sure we want Atlas to be accessible as, on as many platforms as possible. We are considering whether that means trying to go to PS4 at the end of its life cycle or holding out for the PS5, which is not far off. Until the decision is made, we are focused on bringing all the new features to our existing players. So... Yeah, the, I don't think we're going to see it on PS4. I don't know why they even like bothered with even mentioning that. They should have just said maybe on the PS5 or it will be out on the PS5. I don't think we're going to see it on the PS4. PS5 is around the corner. PlayStation don't really dabble in early access stuff. The game is still in early access. A lot of people forget that or don't realise that, but Atlas is early access. It's not a full released game. Um, PlayStation do not take on early access titles normally so you've got that problem anyway and like i said ps5 is around the corner xbox players already struggle like hell um with atlas when they go to anything built by pc players as far as i can tell yeah i don't think the ps4 is going to be any better i get why they've done it on the xbox i don't think they realize they would have as many like um sort of issues with um power kind of thing like the xbox just isn't good enough to really run Atlas how it should be run um, and how it is for PC players to experience. So, but I get what I've done it because, you know, that was a while ago now and, you know, X, new Xbox is coming out. But like I said, we've seen with the Xbox, it didn't really work out. Better off waiting for the next gen consoles. Getting out of that, they'll have more power. They'll be, they'll definitely be able to handle it, I'd think. I'd like to hope so anyway. Obviously, the game might need more optimization anyway. Waiting for the PS5 will be the way to go. And again, PlayStation don't really play with um, early access titles. So until that's a thing, until PlayStation either lift that um, barrier or Atlas becomes a full release game, you won't see it on PlayStation anyway. So yeah, that was all the... The questions, they did mention that if you share screenshots on Twitter, use the hashtag PlayAtlas and you might get a chance to be featured on some of the forum posts. And um, this screenshot on here is from Bomb Track Bart, 
which uh, have you seen this dude that's a nice screenshot I do like that shit but yeah so get involved that again i think this is really cool that they're doing this they're definitely be like communicating more with us now which is nice and opening up new channels and this will be cool if they keep doing these q and a's not so cherry picked though that was cherry picked but i appreciate it the you know the new um community team seem to be doing a good job they're really getting involved straight off the bat um and yeah you know fair play to them is they're doing a great job so far in my opinion i think this is good this is a good step for communication as well like i said so yeah that's that let's go back to the twitter page i'll try not to make this video too long but it's going to be probably like 15 to 20 minutes i guess but if you're interested stick around we'll go and look through some of the comments and look at some of the questions that popped up on there there you go you see the first one that appears is about the ps4 release read the article man <laughs> i mean come on they actually did reply that as well check the article matey so this one's interesting. It's from Chris at etopsahc. <laughs> I think that's right. But um, how would a modder go about adding a table to and accessing a dedicated server's database to allow the data to be accessed in multiple cells pretty much simultaneously? I don't understand that at all. But the reason it catches my eye is because it's obviously for modders um and yeah they need to do more for for modders i think we need more mods for the game i play on official at the moment um but i would like to play unofficial at some point i've looked into get my own server but at the moment it seems too expensive for something i would want to cost like over 200 pound a month unless i was looking at a really bad deal um for like a five by five grid but yeah i would love more mods for this game i love mods i love mods on arc it's great fun so yeah, I, uh, they haven't responded on there, but hopefully they understand what that question means. And hopefully in the next Q&A they do, they answer it. That'd be really interesting. So this one's called well, Marvelous Marv at Marv Oneus. Marv? <laughs> I'm terrible with names, man. <laughs> uh, anyway, he said, any updated roadmap of what you are planning in the future? I would love an updated roadmap. I still haven't done the um, um, roadmap video that I want to do yet. I've just not got around to it. I'm so bad, guys. I will do it. Um, so yeah, I want to know this as well. Come on, guys, what are you doing with the roadmap? How are we going to get a new roadmap? I really want to see that. Craptor <laughs> at Craptor Draws. Um, I guess I'd like to know for hashtag Ask a Pirate Day if the roadmap from a couple of months ago is still being worked on or what the plans for development are. Fans feel a little in the dark. Yeah, completely agree, dude. Again, the roadmap popping up. I want to see the new roadmap. And I said before in a previous video, when you look at the old roadmap and you try and work out like where we are on that roadmap, like there's bits in each section of the roadmap that you can see in game, and then there's other parts even from phase one that are just not even been touched. So um, it was like they put the roadmap out and didn't even do anything with it. Um, so yeah, I'd be really interested to know whether they just threw that out and started a new one or what they're doing um I, i'd love a roadmap i think for early access games or games development it's really nice for anyone involved to be able to see roadmaps and see what's planned i know some people don't like that but i think it's cool like if you're following the game it's nice to know what's coming up and what they're working on oh yes at millie the kid are you going to change the timing system at some point please change the timing system i hate it so much i would love that to get changed oh my god at Jason Clarkey to hashtag Ask a Pirate Day. When will we see that flying ship in the game? Yeah, man, I'd love to see this. You know, they've got the tanks and the planes and the um, the ship, the flying ship, in one of the trailers. I've had it in the back of one of my videos before. Yeah, I would love to see that. I think maybe you can do it through a mod. I've tried spawning it in on single player, and I can never get it to spawn in, so I don't know what's going on with it. Again, going back to the first question we looked at, or one of the first ones from the modder, that, um, yeah, they've got to do some more stuff with the mods or release some new cool stuff. That'd be amazing. But yeah, I can't wait to see that come into the game. And um, people forget it's a fantasy pirate game. It's not a straight pirate game. So that is why they um, would do stuff like that. And I think it'd be amazing as well to have some like flying ships around. Oh, this is a cool one. Yeah. At Isaac Tryon. Tryon? At Isaac Tryon? God damn. Um, I think that's right. Are you going to add a mail system to talk to other Pathfinders and regions other than your own, as well as other MMA features? That would be awesome. I've said already on other videos, I would love to see a, um auction house in-game. At the moment, you can do it through Discord channels, and it's really good. There's some really good ones out there. 
Um, but yeah, I would love an in-game one where you sail up to a town, an NPC town, and there's a orc house there, and you go and sell things, much like on World of Warcraft or something like that. That would be amazing, and a mailing system as well. That'd be wicked if you could um, have a mailbox or something, <laughs> which you could send maybe notes or items, or not necessarily items, eh, items as well. Why not? You know, items to, like resources, maybe money. You could post them to people. That'd be kind of cool. At Scar Zealous. Zealous? Zealous? I think that's right. God damn. I'm so bad at names. I wish I could pretend that I was pretending, but I'm actually just that bad. Um, <laughs> will there be a focus on bringing the ocean more content? New ships, more parts to make ships better looking. Maybe different sails and fixing the current ones. Can't wait for some stuff like this. Ships, I've said it before, they went, they're not going to release new ships until... They're satisfied with the stability of the ocean. That was what they said in their roadmap video um, last year. And um, yeah, I don't know when we're going to see that. And the reason was that if they um, fix what they've got now and then add to it later, it's better than adding more ships now and then having to you know have more work to upgrade. That was what they said. Take that how you want. Um, but yeah, that is what they said. So I don't know when we're going to see a new ship. I would love some new ships. Some new sails would be amazing, and um, I think I mentioned this guy before, his name slipped my mind now, but someone commented on one of my videos, and he was actually a naval historian, and he mentioned that there should be more cannon types, because the cannons we have in game at the moment wouldn't actually be able to sink a galleon. Um, so that would be awesome as well, to have more different, um, more different, I think, is that right? Oh, whatever, more <laughs> variety of cannons, anyway, I think that'd be cool. But yeah, great question, man. Scar100, at Scar Zealous. Zealous. Any plans to pay NPCs to gather resources, man ships, etc.? Will the NPCs be a little smarter? That's from Eugen Bukariusku? Bukarius? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, the NPCs need to be, you know, played around with a little bit for sure. I mean, man, they already can man ships, or do you mean like go off on their own and sail? That would be kind of cool as well, I guess. Yeah, NPCs gather resources. Well, we've got the farm coming in, but I'm not sure how that's going to work. NPCs gather resources would be cool. I've got to say, NPCs are so bad. Like, they don't, for me, they don't seem to have much use other than manning sails and cannons and turrets and things. Um, it'd be awesome if you could use them as a companion to go and do things, um, you know, like, Go and do treasure maps with an actual crew of people. Yeah, at Fabulous Gaming, yeah, they do need to uh, sort out some of the um, problems with the free ports. <laughs> but again, I mean, this is down to the way PvP works. It just, you know, they need to tweak it more. It's either doing stuff like that or just every time you log on, starting over. When does the game go out of early access? Uh, that's from at Eagle HD three. I'm not sure, man. I think um, I honestly think it feels like they're gunning for this Christmas. That the or maybe they're going to tie it in with the next gen releases, the PS five and the new Xbox. Can't remember its name. I'm not console player. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, they. I think they're going to tie it in with that stuff, or at least do it as a Christmas thing. It makes sense marketing wise that they would be getting the game ready now, putting all this effort in, and polishing the game as much as they can and take it out of early access to get onto the playstations i don't think they should rush it though they they need they've done they've made too many bad decisions already the game's already struggling just take your time and get it right that's what i say but yeah it feels like we're going for a christmas sort of thing whether that's the full release or something else happening um, it would make sense though wouldn't it but yeah no one really knows they haven't said um when does the game come out of early access yeah, no idea. I think we might see it in the next, you know, like I said, Christmas or next year. Left side of history at historic left. Yes, need to make animals immune to damage while in Bodo and PvE. So much griefing going on. Yeah, yeah, I haven't experienced this, um, but I know it happens. And yeah, they, I don't know why that's a thing. I just think they need to change taming altogether. They just need to get, you know, need to overhaul it. It's so awful. I hate it. But yeah, they do need to stop the griefing when well, that's really annoying. Okay, so there we go, guys. That was the Q&A. Um, I picked out as many of the questions I could see that weren't like repetitive on the um, tweet. And, um, yeah, a lot of it was obviously people being mad at them and, uh, yeah, asking about the PlayStation. 
Read the article, it's right there. So yeah, love to know your thoughts on some of that, guys. I hope this video was uh, interesting and you know, a little bit different and also um, you know, informative. There we go, that, that's what we'll go with. I hope it was informative. And uh, I hope they do more of these. I, I actually quite enjoy looking through that. It's really interesting seeing what people think in the comments. And again, guys, leave your thoughts down below to what we've been over in this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.